in Andhra Pradesh, the three political parties, frankly, are more like corporations, more like businesses than political parties. And I think there is a lot of room for us to grow here. Particularly because, let me finish, you asked me a question, let me finish it, right? Particularly because there is huge distress in Andhra Pradesh and I am seeing it as I am walking among the farmers, among the laborers and among poor people. So that is going to be our focus. Thank you. Yes, madam. One minute, please. Yes, madam. One minute. Madam. Sir, Manshi Jaiswal from Newsbean. Uh, Congress is saying that this is a trip to India, not a trip to win. But if the party is not winning the trip to India, it means that the people are not winning the trip to India. So, what do you think? Where is the lack of trust and what is the need for trust? There is no need for trust. We have said very clearly that in Hindustan, the trust is not the trust of Hindustan. Be quiet. The trust is being spread. The trust is being spread. हिंदुस्तान को बांटा जा रहा है और इसके हम खिलाफ हैं भारत जोड़ो यात्रा का लक्ष्य हिंदुस्तान को फिर से जोड़ने का है हिंदुस्तान में जो हिंसा फैलाई जा रही है उसके सामने खड़े होने का है ये हमारा लक्ष्य है यात्रा के माध्यम से हमें लोगों से जुड़ने का मौका मिल रहा है तो ये जरूर फायदा हो रहा है और हमें बहुत कुछ सीखने को मिल रहा है अब वो देखी जाएगी बात मगर ये मगर ये जो यात्रा है ये भारत जोड़ो यात्रा है इसीलिए हमने इसको ये नाम दिया है सर आई एम रमेश फ्रॉम द हिंदू जस्ट नो यू स्पोक अबाउट द थ्री पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज हियर विच आर रनिंग लाइक कॉर्पोरेशन बट यू हैड अ टाइ अप विथ वन ऑफ दोज पोलिटिकल पार्टीज इन तेलंगाना इन द लास्ट इलेक्शन सो एंड दिस टाइम आर यू गोइंग टू हैव ए टाइ अप विदम इधर इन तेलंगाना आई एम आई एम नॉट अपोजिंग दम आई एम नॉट स्टेट्स आई एम नॉट दैट इज नॉट माई जूर that is the jurisdiction of the leaders of Andhra Pradesh and of Telangana. Uh, I have described the type of system that is being run, right? Yeah. It, is a, it is a system that is based on a corporate identity. Yeah, Shija. Shija. I'm coming, I'm coming. I mean, follow some rules, I'm coming to you, I'm coming to you. Yeah. Uh, that's for the new president to decide. So will you be to the new Obviously. So you will be. Okay. One more. No, 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 no. Next. Next. Ma'am, ma'am, I have answered your question. You answered the, Let you others also now question. ask questions. You have answered the question. Yes, please. Sir. The Congress President is the supreme authority in the Congress Party and every Congress member reports to that person. My stand, my, I have now started to understand a bit of Telugu. My stand on the Amravati issue is very clear. Let me answer now. Next step will be answering in Telugu. First step is answering your question. Now, uh, we do not think that the idea of having three capitals is a sensible, efficient idea. We think that Andhra Pradesh should have one capital and we think that capital should be Amravati. That is our position. We also don't... We... I met yesterday the people who have given the land for the capital and who have been cheated and we i would like to reiterate here that we stand by those people and we will defend the rights of those people no no Tineka, please you have answer you have asked the question sir, yes, in upa 1 and 2 giant ap has please got more than 33 mp seats sir. now minute, you are on bharat joda yatra please one minute i called her please Look, my focus here is the idea of bringing India and Indian people together. I am not interested in digressing and taking the conversation into another direction. 
okay i am very clear the bharat jodo yatra is designed to bring people together and it is doing a fantastic job of bringing people together and that is my focus i am not going to get distracted by these side issues thank yes, sir. you Wait. sir in apu upa 1 and 2 congress party got more than 33 mp seats in uh, joint andhra pradesh बट आप यू आर ऑन भारत जोड़ यात्रा लेकिन अभी आपके यूपी हाई में भारत ये भी को खोर दिया सो सो आर यू हैव यू एनी पॉलिटिकल रिग्रेट अबाउट दी प्रीवियस इशू लुक एटलीस्ट लुक आई एम नॉट आई एम नॉट पर्सनली टू आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू गो इनटू द पास्ट आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन डिस्कसिंग द फ्यूचर एंड आई हैव बीन वेरी वेरी क्लियर दैट एज फार एज आंध्र प्रदेश इज कंसर्न there is a commitment that was made by the government of india to the people of andhra pradesh and that commitment has to be fulfilled i am not interested in delving into the past here hello Thank you. Uh, uh, sir Blusher. this said shalu from uh, news bean one minute please ma'am one minute okay. please follow the rules okay okay yeah blue shirt chepandi chepandi ha huh? why should people vote well there are uh, i mean there are a number of reasons why people should vote for the congress and not for other parties first reason is congress party is the only party in the country that represents every single indian part indian person it does not discriminate between caste community religion state we are everybody's party first second we are a party that defends the rights of poor people defends the rights of farmers defends the rights of laborers defends the rights of small and medium businesses and we are a party that understands how to bring harmony to this nation we are also a party unlike most other parties that listens to people has free and fair elections inside it and has a culture of listening and caring people have you ever heard of anybody dissenting publicly in the bjp can you dissent publicly in uh, the ysr congress can you dissent publicly in the telugu desam i don't think so dissent is not tolerated these are dictatorships the congress party is the only democratic open minded party in this country that's why you should support sir. it and i know i know you agree with it sir. because you're smiling the young lady there sir you made it clear that you will report to the new president now a little more clarity on your role and ms sonia gandhi's role in decision making now that the party will have a new president any time see i answered that question my role of course i cannot comment on congress president's role that is for mr garge to comment on i am very clear as far as my role is consider concerned the president will decide what my role is and how i am to be deployed no 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 supplementary please that supplementary that you have to ask kharge ji and no, sonia gandhi no ji but please. as far as bhaiya can you just move a bit to the uh, side so i can see the lady uh, sir only one question as far as i know sir please one question madam you been asked ma'am don't interrupt every time please as far as the congress party is concerned the final authority in the congress party is the congress president and we will have a new congress president and that gentleman will decide exactly how the congress party moves forward yeah, sir this is sharif from rayalaseema journalist forum media convener so i would like to ask one question uh, from uh, 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 he asked me once again me look uh, mr kharge and mr tharur are both people with experience and understanding whoever gets elected they do not need advice from me they have experience they have understanding and they will decide what to do sir do you notice there are so many attacks on journalists nationwide do you have any framework uh, to help the journalists do you notice there is also so many attacks on me <laughs> <Not> nationwide <laughs> and on on me on my image sir what is your framework uh, to help the journalists oh i 
the Congress Party, of course, believes in a free discussion. Congress Party has the courage to face journalists. We are not scared of journalists. Of course, the BJP doesn't like to face the truth, is scared of journalists, doesn't like this type of conversation. By the way, have you ever seen the Prime Minister having such a press conference? Have you seen the Prime Minister having such a press conference? Never. Sir, sir, sir. Yes. Right. Sir, Khalil from Khalil. No, one second, one second. So, so we have a culture where we want, we see journalists as our allies because we want information. We want to understand what's going on. So when we are in power, you, we see you as, as people who give us information to govern, not as people who should be silenced. Yes, please. Sir, Khalil from Maha News. Sir, Miru Adhikaram Loki Vachenduku, YCP in Rashtamlo, YCP Madhati Skuntara. Kendramlo Miru Adhikaram Loki Rauraniki, Avasara Maite, YCP, Rashtamlo, YCP, Madhati Skuntara. Okay, I'm trying. <laughs> Look, these are, these are all questions that now will be answered by the Congress President. It is not my jurisdiction, not my decision. <laughs> One minute, please. One, Sir. One minute. Sir. Rahul Ji, sir. I'm Rahul Ji, sir. <laughs> sir, Rastra. One minute, please. Please. Ra Ra Rahul Ji, sir. Please keep sir. quiet. Huh? Sir, I'm talking to you. Please follow some rules. Sir. Rahul Ji, sir, Rasa Vivijana Taravata, sir, Rasa Vivijana Taravata, AP Telangana Madhya, it is Krishna Basin Gani, at the Gowdar Basin Lagani, Niti Vivadan, Baga, Thiranga on night. If you render Rasa Madhiguda, you need to be other Gosu Kotkuna Parasitundi, Congress are Niti Vivadani, Yala Paraskrisundi, Adekram, AP Lona twenty project, Yevidanga, Nirman Chapatundi, Rail Simalo, Venakwani Prantan Law, Chinaga, 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 Rail Simalo, when you are in this project, you will be able to do the project. First of all, AP is the first one. 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 Krishna Basin and Godavari Basin is the first one. AP is the first one. AP is the first one. AP is the first one. Congress is the first one. Thank you. I understood the question. What is the question? What is the question? Look, as far as uh, as far as dispute resolution, there is a mechanism, there is a legal system. That system is going to look into these matters. I am nobody to comment on these type of these matters. As far as the Polavaram project, pending projects are concerned, we have a commitment that we will ensure when we come to power that these commitments are fulfilled. I have met the people from the Polavaram project as well and I have given them that commitment. So we are, we are invested in ensuring that those projects are completed and the benefits of those projects get to the people of Andhra Pradesh. Bharat Desham Kularaja Kail Nundi Vimik Pondhe Deppudu. Vimik Pondhe Deppudu. Vimik Myself personally, I am seeing this Yatra as a, as a, I would say, tapasya in understanding our people, in understanding our land and in understanding myself. I am not looking beyond this Yatra. For me, this Yatra is important and my entire focus needs to be on this Yatra. This question you can ask me after the Yatra is finished. Thank you. Sir. Yes, sir. Sir.
Well, it is not just it is not just a question of the dollar price. It is a question of how you look at the Indian economy and how you think about the Indian economy. The BJP's policies have completely destroyed the strength of the Indian economy. And I'll, I'll lay out for you why. Job creation in our economy has always happened on the back of small and medium businesses, on the back of a strong agricultural sector. And demonetization and GST have destroyed both these systems. You can speak to any farmer, they will tell you that for the first time in their life, they are paying GST on farming instruments, on fertilizer, etc. And any small businessman will tell you the devastation that has been caused. Thousands and thousands and thousands, I would say lakhs of them, have gone out of business. So India's ability to create jobs has been crippled. At the same time, massive transfer of wealth is taking place from the poor people and from the middle class to a handful of really rich business people. As you must be aware, the second richest or now the third richest man in the world is Indian. And he is a close associate of the Prime Minister, a friend of the Prime Minister and everybody understands exactly how he's become the third richest man. What people don't clearly understand is that this is a money transfer from the farmers, from the small businessman, from the middle class into the hands of these type of very rich people. These people have access to the entire banking system. So a small businessman, farmer cannot access the banking system, but these people can have unlimited debt as this gentleman has. So the entire economy has been crippled and a lot of work will have to be done to bring that economy back to life. I'll give you a very good example. Just two days ago, three days ago, I was in Bellari. I was told in Bellari that Bellari is the genes capital of India. Now, from my perspective, this is a huge asset for India. If we open the doors of the banks to the jeans industry in Bellari, if we support the jeans industry in Bellari, if we give them the protection they need, we will get many, many entrepreneurs who will give lakhs and lakhs of jobs out of Bellari. So the focus has to shift from two or three big business people to the people who actually create the jobs. Right? That's basically the issue. Of course, a strong, uh, a, a strong rupee has its advantages. And we would try to make sure that it is protected. Sir, excuse me. Sir, Bharat Deshan Kulala Rajal. By the way, I, I just like to make a point that this idea of a strong rupee or a weak rupee as being good or bad, it is, it is actually more nuanced than that. It doesn't actually work like that. There are advantages of a strong rupee, there are disadvantages of a strong rupee. And, and both those have to be taken into account. The, the idea of the GST was one unifying tax. Our vision for the GST was a GST that would develop out of a conversation with the states. 
the bjp has actually imposed a gst on the country without a conversation with the states they have forced it and they have forced five different tax regimes there are five different levels of gst there is no gst in the world that has five different levels it is only existing in india so we are against the basic design of this gst we will bring a gst that is one simple tax one gst one tax and we will do so after a conversation with the stakeholders and we are confident that we can give india a gst that actually simplifies the people's lives bharat desham lo kulala rajakeela madhya vimuktundi aithe bjp kulala rajakeela madhya chichu pedutundi deeni ye vidhanga chustaru in india bjp is promoting division among the various castes how independent so, uh, uh, how you are looking at this perspective and deliver the politics away from the caste politics or this kind of a divisive politics uh, bjp if you go into the details bjp has actually got two or three objectives the first objective is to maintain the caste hierarchy and to eventually kill the indian constitution that's objective number 1 objective number 2 is to make sure that indian women are always subservient to indian men and the third objective is to divide india along religious lines that is basically the goal of the bjp and these are the congress views is diametrically opposed to this we protect the constitution we protect the rights of women and we bring communities and religions together and that is what the bharat jodo yatra is aimed at doing and is successfully doing because a lot of people are asking the question what is the need for this violence what is the need for this hatred why should we hate each other why should we kill each other these questions are being asked as a result of the yatra thank you look on the on the on the issue of the rail seema special package my friend wants uh, a statement on this on the issue of rail seema special package we are committed to everything that the government of india has promised the people of andhra pradesh that is our commitment including this package thank you thank you, thank you very much thank you sir sir thank you sir